Welcome to Assessment in the Differentiated Classroom, presented by Kathy Marks. There are three types of assessment, diagnostic or pre-assessment, formative assessment, and summative assessment. Diagnostic assessment is carried out at the beginning of a course or topic or project to aid learning. You can assess for readiness, student interests, or learning profiles. It establishes the background ex knowledge, experience, misconceptions, interests, or learning style preferences. And it has a double purpose, A to help teachers in their planning and B to give students a preview of the work ahead. Common diagnostic assessments might be standardized tests, previous units tests, a pretest, exit cards to see what they know, graphic organizers. You might even ask the students what they know or have the students retell what they know about a concept or idea. Formative assessment is ongoing and it can be formal or informal. The process is like a course correction for a spacecraft. A correction is needed and it's made with no penalties. It's usually not used for grading. Your goals are to uncover misconceptions, give students the chance to revise and improve their thinking, as well as see their own progress, and help teachers target areas that need to be remediated or compacted or accelerated. Examples of formative assessments. Have you used any others to add to this list? Summative assessment is carried out at the end of a topic, course, or project. It is used to determine the degree of its the final mastery, improvement, or level of competency of the students. It's also used to assign students a grade. What are some examples? And of course, tests and exams. Culminating performances. Large scale products or projects. These things should reflect the knowledge and sub skills of each target curricular aim. Here are the th three types of assessment. Throughout you are looking for feedback and helping your students set goals. Here are some examples of each. Thank you and have a great day.